is Cheyenne Erickson Fernandez, and my topic is Obedience Through Jesus. Luke eleven twenty eight. 28. He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day, and please bless the person who is on the other side of the screen, and um, I hope that and please make sure that um, a lot of Christians watch this video. This will probably make them feel um, watch a nice video about me reading a, um, a Jesus story. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. day a large crowd pressed around Jesus while he preached. The Lord wanted to use Peter's, Peter's boat as a floating platform from which to address the multitude, so he asked the future apost apostle to push the vessel out a little way from the shore. From shore. Really not a cool idea. But Peter's friends obeying his request paved the way for a life-changing blessing. For his example, he also learned how, the, how essential it is to obey God in even the smallest matters. The noisy crowd received the first blessing of Peter's obedience. The people could now, could now clearly hear Jesus' words. At the conclusion of conclusion, Conclusion of the lesson, the Lord said to Peter, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. A second opportunity to say yes or no, but this time Peter may have felt tempted to say no. After all, he was an excellent, excellent fisherman. He had worked the entire night for a catch, but had returned empty handed. Now his young teacher, a carpenter, by the way, not a fisherman, was asking him to go fishing again. Peter's action shows the being of a lifetime of faith in God. He said, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. The soon to the despicable disciple chose to obey the Lord and to leave the consequences of his decision. 
But notice what happened as a result of Peter's obedience. Jesus demonstrated his power and control Peter and his partners may have started the day off thinking their efforts was pronounced nothing. But they ended in a complete in amazement because they pulled in not one, but two overflowing boat loads of fish. Saying yes to the Lord's request resulted in a miracle that transformed not only one fisherman's life, but the lives of the entire group. Consider three reasons why obedience is critical to the successful Christian's life. Number one, obeying God in small matters is an essential step to re reviving God's greatest blessing. Suppose Peter had look, said, look, I'm busy cleaning my nets right now. I can't help you because I'm going fishing again tonight. Or he could have said, why don't you ask to use the other boat over there? Or I've already been fishing today. It would be a waste of time to go again. If Peter had said anything other than yes, he would have missed the greatest fishing experiment experience of his life. But because of Peter's obedience, the Lord arranged a miracle that he would never forget. Often God's greatest blessings come from it as a result of our willingness to do something that appears very insignificant. So ask yourself, has God been challenging me to do something seemingly unimportant that I have not yet made an effort to accomplish? Is there anything I thought by saying it's too difficult? I don't want to, or I have to, do I have to pray about this first? Number two, our obedience always benefits others. Think of how many people were blessed by Peter's obedience. Not only could the crowd see the Lord and hear his lessons, but Jesus himself also benefited preaching because preaching from the boat enabled him to sit down in comfort while he spoke. Then, of course, Peter's friends and had a very profitable day, and they they took in two vessels so full of fish that both began to sink. More importantly, they had the opportunity to witness the Lord's supernatural provision. God often rewards others in, partic in particular, those closest to us as a result of our obedience. For example, when a parent obeys the Lord, the entire family repents of, of, the, God, of the reward of God's blessings. Likewise, a child obedience obedience will bless his or her parents. This does not mean that those who choose to disobey the Lord will escape his discipline because of someone else's godly walk. His call to obedience always demands our response. However, when we live obedient lives, those who know and love us will sense a piece of joy he has given us. Instead of conflict, there will be a contentment, and that is just one of the parts that that is just one part of experimenting God's goodness. Number three, when we obey God, we will never be disappointed. Peter no doubt assumed that Jesus' fishing instructions would amount a waste of time. But when he obeyed the Lord's simple request, Christ brought a, about a miracle and grinded the disciple with amazement. Jesus turned an empty boat into a full one. We, we, like Peter, must recognize that obeying God is always the wisest course of action. He could... Uh, he can also take our emptiness, whether related to finances, relationships, or career, and change it into something wonderful. Perhaps you have 
hesitated to obey God because you fear the consequences of your decision. But the Lord's command is for you to fear him above all else. The same sovereign and appointment, God who keeps your heart beating and the planets or biting is, is more than able to handle the result to the handle the results of your obedience. When he tells you to do something and you know without a doubt it it is his will, then you need to obey base you need to obey base solely on who is doing the talking. When you choose to obey the Lord, he will bless you. This is because obedience is o- always leads to blessing. I have always been told that if I do obey when I am told to do something, Jesus and the Holy Spirit will, re- will reward me with a sense of peace and joy that compares to nothing this world has to offer. Therefore, you need to set a goal to obey the Lord and watch him work in your life. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this magnificent day. Um, Please help all the people who are in need and um, please get the world under control again. And so we can see a lot more people at church because I know you like seeing more people here to worship you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.